Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold back at the Second Swing Tour Van at Minnetonka, joined today by Cam Root for a uh, big time comparison of three woods today. So the G430 LST in my hand here was added to the G430 lineup this summer. Um, it's been very successful so far, um, and I'm actually particularly interested as I play a G425 LST. So this is a big one of interest to me. I've uh, been thinking about the upgrade, although I will say the G425 LST is pretty darn good, a Cam, but um, we're going to compare it today, the G430 Max and the G430 LST. So, Cam, in your experience, um, you know, with, with Pink Fairy Woods in general, um, what are we expecting with performance on the Max today and then also the LST? I mean, what do you think we're going to see? Yeah, I mean, I think starting out with the Max, going to expect a lot of forgiveness. A um, little bit higher launch, higher spin, um, kind of a fairway finder club yep. uh, is, is my first impression. Um, and then on the, uh, you know, the other side, the LST, a uh, little bit more for that, uh, you know, lower handicapper, looking for uh, a little more distance, a little more workability, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to try them out. I think one thing I see too, that I should point out, so it seems like on the bottom of this LST, you can see some weight placed a little bit more forward, right? And that's kind of how that center of gravity, um, well, is positioned slightly towards the face a little bit more, that way ultimately lowering that spin. And, and then one thing too, I think you mentioned it right as you looked at it, was just the the face and how shallow it seems to be on the max. Um, generally that helps players get that club a little bit underneath the ball and launch it a little bit higher. So um, this is a long winded way of saying, we think the G430 max will maybe launch a little bit higher, uh, spin maybe a little bit more. And then the LST will be kind of that penetrating lower launching, you know, ball flight. So um, we've got cams set up with the 75 X ping tour Chrome 2.0 shaft. So should be a pretty good fit for you, I think, right? Yeah. 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 So um, we've watched him hit the STG fairy wood. If you haven't checked that out yet, um, the Mizuno STG and uh, the guy can hit a fairy wood. So he doesn't really think so, but he can. So we've got, uh, we'll hit five good ones with each club and then we'll look at the numbers. All right, let's do it. All right, the G430 Max. So give me your first impression on that. Uh, I guess what the club head looks like, the shape, the aesthetic, you know, what you see it addressed there. Yeah, I mean, right off the bat, it looks super forgiving. Mm -hmm. um, sound wise, you know, Ping's got that kind of, uh, you know, trademark kind of Ping sound. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it kind of a little bit to get used to just in terms of the sound and the look, but mm -hmm. um, right off the bat, it feels, feels pretty good. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was hit well. Definitely seeing, so again, we're, this is, we filmed this right after filming the STG Fairywood string report video where Cam was testing that Fairywood. And again, I'm, the, the spin and launch seems to be a little bit higher with this one right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It, uh, it seems like it's uh, launching a little bit higher with a little more spin. So, you know, it's gonna take away a little bit of distance, but uh, you know, for going for par fives, um, gonna land a little bit softer oh, yeah. and, and maybe hold the green, so. Mm -hmm. Um, it was give and take with extra speed, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think you know the higher the higher club head speed players are going to be able to launch it higher with a little more spin, and uh, you know some of the slower club head speeds. I still think that uh, still be able to launch it high enough. Yeah, um, especially with this plenty, club. plenty of distance. So. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. So, it, and it seems like all three balls so far have been a very consistent flight. You know, that high draw that lands pretty softly, which there is definitely room in the bag for a shot like that. If you can, yeah. you know, produce it as consistently as you have so far. Yeah. Slightly more speed there. Wow. How about the uh, feel of that club now? I mean, it feels super forgiving. Yeah. It feels like you can kind of hit it anywhere on the face. Yeah. And it's still going to go pretty straight, um, which is kind of what I've always thought about Ping is uh, super forgiving and uh, mm -hmm. go straight. That's kind of been, yeah. They've, I mean, if you're talking about forgiveness in golf clubs, I think for me anyway, Ping is the first brand yeah. that comes to mind. Yeah. Yep. So let's, uh, let's get one more here with uh, the G430 Max. Let's hit that one. Just slightly. Still looks like a similar shot though. So you've got five up there. Let's go with the best four out of five. Let's do that. So, oh, here we go. I got it. I'm getting there. All right. 
So this last one's probably the one to remove. Yep. Therefore, we've got these four, and you can kind of see with all of them that high draw is working. Um, you're curving at about 45 feet on average. If I were to bring up the tracers on all of them, which I can do here actually like this, you can kind of see that high draw in all of them. Um, 102.5 club speed, 151.2 on the ball speed. 37.19, like you mentioned, I think in the Mizuno video, three wood spin, I think for this type of club speed, you're probably looking at about mid 3000s, right? Maybe a yeah, little bit, like 3500? Yeah, yeah, mid 3000s, um, you know, with that shallower of a face, um, you know, gonna spin a little bit more, um, you know, center of gravity probably a little bit more in the back. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's going to launch higher and spin a little more. Yeah, so I'm curious now because I think we'll, we'll put the uh, the G430 LST club head now on that shaft and we'll do the testing. But I, what would be your prediction, I guess, for how these numbers change with this club? Uh, I think with the LST, hopefully going to see a little bit more distance, um, probably a little lower ball flight, mm -hmm. less spin. Um, and then hopefully keep the forgiveness up and still hit it straight. Yeah, I like the sound of that. That sounds pretty good. So let's get into it here. <laughs> And we're away with the LST. So right away, do you see a difference in the look of the club at a dress? Is it smaller? It, just barely a little smaller just than barely. the max. A um, little smaller profile, but it doesn't look hard to hit to me. Okay. It's not like a stark difference? No, not really. That one took off a little bit lower. Still seeing yeah. some spin kind of in that mid 3000s though. Yeah. Interesting. Oh yeah, the high draw is working with both of these clubs right now. Yeah, that's the stock shot. What, uh, how about the feel? Do you notice a difference in feel with these two or not really? Honestly, it, it feels and sounds the same to me. Does it? Yeah, I, I mean, definitely more of a feel player. So like, I feel like I notice the smaller things and okay. uh, personally doesn't feel okay. or look a whole lot different um, other than the smaller profile. Right. Not gonna hook. Not too bad. A little bit. There it is. He's that high draws working. I tell you what. Yeah. All right, so we've got our five shots up there now. Yep. So let's let's take a look here, and we'll take maybe the worst one out of there, which would be this one. So we have the best four or five now with each club, right? So we've got. Our dispersion map here, I can like the consistency really of both clubs in that, that circle there. Um, Cam, will you, you pick where we start, with the dispersion or with the numbers here? Where do you want to uh, go? Let's we'll start numbers. Okay. So we'll expand the numbers here and we can kind of dissect things a little bit. Now, again, small sample here. So, um, you know, things might differ a little bit more if we were to hit, say, 20 shots yeah. each. Yep. Um, but I, I, very minute differences here. Um, you're pretty similar on the club speed and the ball speed. They're both very explosive fairy woods. We can tell that for sure. 147 and 148 smash is pretty darn good. Um, the spin ever so slightly smaller, or I guess lower with the LST. Um, I think I actually expect it to be a little bit of a bigger difference though. Yeah, I did too. Um, a little bit surprised how similar they were. Um, yeah. I would have thought maybe a little bit less spin and a little bit more distance out of the LST. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't quite catch any of them kind of perfect. Yeah, yeah I guess you did. You're, I mean, again, this is almost splitting hairs to a degree, but 147 versus 148, so you did hit the G430 Max just a little bit better. Yeah. Um, and then uh, also, too, slightly more, again, slightly more curvature with the G430 LST and a little bit of a shallower landing angle, which would probably be expected, too. Yeah. Yep. So... I think we're seeing, again, this is very, very minor differences with, in particular, the shots that were selected here. But I think that the, the trend is there that the LST, you know, over a larger sample size might differentiate itself in the sense of a, you know, lower ball flight, uh, maybe a lower spin. Um, I think we can kind of maybe jump, we can, based on what we know about the golf clubs, how they're designed by paying, we can jump to that conclusion. Yeah, yeah. I, I think a little more workability as well with yeah. the LST. Mm -hmm. um, didn't try to work any left to right there, but I think definitely would have had that ability if I tried to maybe cut one. Yeah. Um, but both 
super, uh, super happy with both of them. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'd probably lean towards the LST, um, just with that smaller profile fits yeah. my a little more, but the 430 Max is about as forgiving as it gets, so. Yeah, um, and I think we should also bring this up because right now, what we did here is what we picked the eight that were the best out of 10, really, because it was four or five from each yeah. club. And all eight of these are in the fairway, and that's not a big fairway. You got two, I mean, if this is a real life target, you have two bunkers that you're splitting right there. And realistically, you probably wouldn't even hit a three wood in this scenario, you'd probably hit yeah. a driver. But yeah. um, that's very, this is a small space. I mean, look at the scale on the screen here. That's a five yard difference. I mean, this is, you got about 30 yards maybe, which is 90 feet. And you're hitting the ball from 260 yards away. You get them all in that small tight area is impressive. So I think, and where you, what you said is ping win, wins in forgiveness. I think forgiveness, consistency is where ping's winning with these fairy woods. Yeah, I think kind of what you're seeing there too is, you know, with the white uh, dots there being the max, a little bit more forgiving. Mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't quite hit any of them super in the center, but all pretty straight. And yeah. then still with the LST, a little bit wider dispersion, but uh, everything's in play. So. Yeah, yeah, you're going to get that. The G430 max kind of more oriented towards a straight high ball flight. LST a little bit more workable. Saw that trend start to take place here on that dispersion, but um, really good testing here. I think uh, I think a lot of people validated that might have a G430 already, seeing how good this performance is. Um, I think last thing left to do here is the final thoughts. All right. All right, so, so Cam, we did the comparison here. I think this is one that I was really looking forward to, to see the G430s, uh, both Ferry Woods, the Max, and the LST in play here. Um, after seeing the data, again, not a huge difference in the numbers here. And so, um, but I think we kind of, we jumped to those conclusions that the LST for most players would be maybe more workable, lower spinning. So mm -hmm. typically, like we mentioned earlier, towards maybe a lower handicap, you think, for that club? Yeah, I think the lower handicap, maybe a guy that likes to hit three wood off the tee um, and not just the driver. Um, Cause you can still get it out there and it's still super forgiving. So you feel like you can still hit a lot of fairways with it. So um, yeah, LST a little more workable. Um, lower launch, lower spin, and then that 430 max, just a little bit higher launch, higher spin, a little more forgiveness, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Sure, and then the, the max two, one thing that you noted was a little bit larger profile at address. So um, I think that almost goes to the golfer, you know, if, if you're someone, you know, very particular about how the club looks, um, mm -hmm. you know, just that's something to note is the G430 max is a little bit larger, G430 LST is gonna be a little more compact and depending on how you prefer your fairy woods to look, I guess. You'll have to pick one of the two. Yeah, and I don't think either of them are super intimidating to hit either. No. I think, you know, the max looks like you can hit it anywhere, um, but I still feel like you get that a little bit with the LST. It, it just, it looks so easy to hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think overall, again, we'll bring up that dispersion one more time because that is a truly, I mean, it's a remarkable grouping for a fairy wood shot from 260 to get everything that close together. So a lot of consistency, a lot of forgiveness packed into these G430 fairy woods. Uh, if you are a golfer interested in the new fairy wood from Ping, G430 Max or G430 LST, it's probably gonna help your game. So get fit at second swing with one of our experts. We'll help you dial in the all important fairy wood club and you'll be playing better golf. So Cam, thanks for joining today, hitting uh, the shots. I think this is a really good one here. Yeah, thanks for having me.